Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and this is your Cardio Golf 18 hole workout that you can do at home. Maybe you haven't been able to play a lot of golf lately, so this will be a great workout for you because we're going to be doing swing drills and also combining it with some cardio and endurance exercises. So you'll get a great workout and work on your swing at the same time. You want to keep it low impact, you stay down here. Bend your knees, keep your core nice and tight, your shoulders away from your ears. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can go up and down. And we're just going for 30 seconds, getting that heart rate going, building some endurance and stamina. From here, pick up your shorty club and you want to go on an upslope. So hold on to it with your back arm only. I'm right handed, so this back arm is my right arm. And from here, we're just going to rehearse that back swing. Guys, try to stay down low here if you can. That'll activate more of your quads, your hamstring, and your core. If you want to go a little higher impact, you can. And we're just going for about 30 seconds here. Activate your swing as much as possible. And you're trying to look down at where a ball is and get your arm into some good positions. Just rehearse that swing with that back arm only. All right, you wouldn't think about this well, you're playing golf or swinging, but now you can. And now we're doing that little side tap on this side, making sure we do both sides. So lateral motion is really important in the golf swing. You wanna activate those inner and outer thighs, the adductor, abductor. Back to that club. Now you're going to hold on to it with your front arm only. So if you're right-handed like me, this front arm is a little weaker, so I like to choke down. It just makes the club a little bit lighter. And now I'm on the upslope, rehearsing my upslope develop strength. It also helps you develop your technique. You have to hinge your wrist, keep that arm more extended. If your grip is not correct, you won't be able to keep that extension in that arm. Good, and you're just repeating here. Really stabilize your body, and we're just doing some running arms, activating the core right here. So stay down low, and you're pumping your arms as if you're running. We call these running man right here. And the faster you pump your arms, the uh, your heart rate gets up there a little bit there. So you keep going. Try to keep that core nice and tight. Stay running, running. Last five seconds, get your heart rate going. And then we're going to do that swing drill again. All right, from here, pick up your shorty club again. Now with your lead arm on the down slope. Again, if you want to choke down, it makes it lighter. Fight gravity. And we're just repeating. Try to finish in balance. Nice full range of motion. So get into a stable position. Try to line your knee and your hip up together. Get down low and you're doing that little running man. This is great for your core. So bend those elbows and pump those arms. So if you're running and you wanted to run faster, you would pump your arms to get that balance. Last five seconds. And then we're going into a swing drill. Up slope, you wanna make sure your hips, your knees, even your eye line are parallel to your slope line and then you're rehearsing your back swing. So I like to just rehearse the back swing, it going back and forth like this, like a little grapevine or a and now go ahead and get into your down slope. It's on the down slope, you want to angle yourself towards the target. Your heart rate should be getting up. So try to, sit. try to finish in balance before you switch. And then what you're doing is you're going to step up with one leg, extend the other leg behind you with a little bit of a bent knee or soft knee, and you're just trying to extend that leg out behind you. And then stay balanced on both sides, and you're just repeating, trying to stay in balance. And as you get more steady, you can extend your leg out. I practice a wide takeaway. So see how my arms and clump form a nice capital Y? You're just trying to take that Y back in a nice wide side lunge right here. So I'm just holding the club like this, keeping my shoulders wide, hinging from my hips, and really trying to get down in that wide takeaway. So go ahead and hold on to your club. So here's my capital Y. Now your Y goes back in a nice one piece takeaway. Good. So stay in your posture, so you're looking down at where a ball would be. You're stabilizing that lower body. You're using a little bit of turn or core. It's a nice side lunge here, pushing off, trying to keep your heart rate going. Use those legs. Try to finish in balance if you can. Nice. And then you're just repeating that side lunge. So that lateral, you're just 
just trying to extend your arms out. You're trying to get your weight into the inside of that back leg. Your hands are to the side of your head. They're not behind your head. You're not raising up your hips, your arms, and you're holding this position, and then starting over. So you're just trying to find the top of your back, arms down, but this is great exercise to work your entire body. This will really get your heart rate going, reaching your arms above your head. This will work your core. This will also help you with your regular stance. And then you lean your weight forward with your hands a little bit forward so you can see all of your weight, or most of it's on the um, front leg right here. And we're just gonna practice swinging back and then finishing low, trying to hit a knock. Belly button in towards your spine. Your uh, head all the way down to your heel. Nice step with a little check and then swing. So let me just show you what would be wrong. You don't want to do this and then do the step afterwards. So load your weight, step and swing. Load, wait for it just a little bit, make sure you load it, step and then swing. And then try to finish in balance. Our lead leg like this and then from here hold on to the club like this and we're doing a little repeater. So this would represent my back swing. I'm doing a little rotation as I drive your arms. You've got to have that little squat and pump. Pump and then rotate through. So try to simulate your golf swing as much as possible. Try to do it with some speed and just repeat. Pump, pump, and go through. We call this a pump drill. And outer thighs, getting your core work. If you want to add a little plyo, you can jump up and land lightly. So there's a couple different ways you can do this as you arm forward like this. And what I'm going to do here is swing and swing under my forward arm to help me make sure I come from the inside. I call this the same time. It's a total body workout. You're just trying to keep that heart rate going. You can go faster if you want to. You can slow it down to lower impact. And we're gonna a bad shot. So they end up like stopping their swing and they never hold their finish. You can actually save a lot of shots just by trying to finish in balance. So get into the habit of making a practice swing and then holding. Stay down low. So this would be the low impact. You're going to 30 seconds. If you want to go a little higher, you can add a little bit more of a hop. And if you want to go and imagine your fair, favorite fairway or a green, and then you want to go ahead and set up as if you were aligning yourself, alignment away from the course so that when you get on the course, you don't have to think about it so much. It becomes more natural and it doesn't take so long. The resistance of the slope as you come back up. So side flexion is important. Your obliques are important in the golf swing. This is a great exercise. And then go ahead and set that slope down again. Practice your halfway back or your takeaway. Stop at the top of your swing. Really try to get that position that you want at the top of the swing. You can slowly do that transition and stop at impact to check your club face. And then we're going right into a cardio exercise for five, four, three, two, and one, good, and then from here, try to steady. Here we go, big finish. We're doing 10 practice swings, trying to swing as fast as you can to increase your club head speed. Power swings, set up, here we go. And the last one, hold your finish, watch the ball fly down the fairway. And that's your cardio golf, cardio and swing workout for today.